जब हसीन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग मेंटोर वी आर हेयर केदर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड बेसिकली व्हाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न इंग्लिश टू एक्सप्रेस आवर सेल्स इन इंग्लिश एंड व्हाई इज इट रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट इन आवर लाइफ टू अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश राइट सो टू बिगिन विद वी ऑल नो दैट इंग्लिश इज यूनिवर्सल लैंग्वेज सो इन ऑर्डर टू बी फ्लुएंट and confident with the people around we need to know this language really so english learning and english speaking helps us to take the edge upon our competitors to dig our place and to make our own position in the entire world it enhances us to pass our message correctly to the people in the universe and thus helps us build us interpersonal relationships so to begin with let's now understand over here that why is it important to speak english now we are finding over here people talking to each other english language or public speaking or communication in english really boosts up up the confidence it helps us uh, sending our message adequately to the people around and thus making our own position dif differently in the organization right so over here uh, might be a boss or a colleague or whoever he is when questioning the other person that do you know english so other person is responding with the entire confidence that yes i do know english i know how to communicate in english and look at the body language and the way he is talking really shows that he is full of confidence so we can really be vernacular in our words that yes it helps us be more confident right so on to the next slide now how to learn english speaking how to learn to communicate with the people till and until we have vocabulary in the box we have vocabulary in our box we cannot we cannot communicate with the other person right so matter which ever language we talk about which ever language we uh, try to communicate we need to know the words we need to know how to use the words so in short we can say we need to have the vocabulary of that particular language so vocabulary is a prerequisite to learn to understand english right so to be a very good speaker in english make sure that movie clip sessions are equally important as audio clip sessions because movies and audio clips we really, really memorize in our brains we memorize new words we memorize new phrases we um, memorize the colloquial language of the place and thus get more acquainted to what we have to talk to the other people about and thus get closely knitted to the language and be a very good speaker next comes public speaking public speaking definitely is another essential part of good speaking public speaking is what it is that um, uh, that like uh, till and until we start talking in public we start sending our messages in public we cannot be a very good speaker so to be a very very good speaker in english be a public speaker no matter the the amount of the people in front of you may be one or two initially and gradually with the passage of time you may grow with the audience but definitely start speaking in front of the public and keep your head away from your speech now next comes 10 tips to improve your english communication let's begin with the tips which are really required to improve our english communication number 1 be clear and concise with your words no need to use complex vocabulary whatever you are sending message to the other person should be a simple message right over here he says that be clear and concise in your words you communicate to avoid any confusion so be clear be concise in your words whatsoever you are communicating to other person should be clear enough it it's the best to use simple language to avoid any unnecessary words or jargon jargon are the words which are tech, used by technical people in a particular field right so avoid those words uh, just use the words which is 
used by a common person or a common man in his or her language or words right now next comes what is the next slide that is listening activity till and until you are a very fine listener you cannot be a good speaker no matter wherever i talk about whichever language i talk about even if i i want to learn to speak spanish or i want to learn to speak french i need to be a very good listener i need to lend my ears to the audience right so you have to be patient enough listen to what the other person is saying and then you can respond and then you can be a good speaker right so the tips amongst the, all the rest of the tips the best tip i would uh, over here exhale is that be a very good uh, listener uh, pay attention to what the other person is saying maintain eye contact it's not that when the speaker is speaking to me i would lower down my uh, eyes or i would keep on rolling my eyes in the entire room or um, or the entire place i'm over there so whosoever is talking to me i should have a eye contact with the person even if it's interview make sure that i have eye contact with the interviewer till and until i look into the eyes or on the face of the person who's talking to me i cannot respond to the person correctly avoid interrupting yes till and until i find that my sayings are all over i'm over with the message what i want to convey to the other person so uh, make sure that uh, that uh, i would not intervene in between i would not in, uh, interrupt in between till and until the saying of the other person is all complete even if it's a group discussion or even if uh, the debate is going on i'll just make sure that my rebut or my opponent is able to complete whatever he or she wanted to convey to me only then i'll begin with my whatever i want to say about once my opponent team is over with what he or she wanted to express i'll start expressing me in a very positive and affirmative way it's not that i would intervene and before i begin with whatever i have in my mind even if if my uh, opinion is completely um a uh, Uh, completely uh, something else i want to say about or completely um, uh, some opposing opinion i have in my mind i'll just keep it in mind that i'll be humble enough in my words by the sayings that yes i do agree by your words sir or by dear friend but according to me things should be this way so this is a way always i would start with my opinions if i find that my opinions are far ahead away from what the other person is say participate in the conversation through non verbal cues like affirming uh, gestures and nodding yes when other person is speaking something and i'm listening to the other person i'll make sure that i would not sit there quietly i would always uh, be nodding to the other person uh, either by moving my head um, up and down or by by nodding or by uh, giving a smile or by um, showing my affirmation to the statement what other person is saying i would not simply sit there quiet mom or give any negative gesture to what the other person is saying even if i do not agree by the words of the speaker right now next slide is practice yes practice 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 till and until i practice myself i cannot speak and uh, the more i get into the interactive se session say for example public speech say for example group discussion say for example workshop so in uh, in order to be a very very fine speaker in order to be a very good communicator i need to practice myself on the sessions on uh, wherein i have other people as well talking to me and i am also talking to those people positively right so make sure anyone can excel english communication anyone can be a very good communicator through the regular practice only whatsoever i learn even if i increase my vocabulary i listen to audio clips i listen to movie clips i should always keep it in mind that i will be and i should be positive to what i am listening 
and I'm communicating on it, right? So, and I'm practicing. It's not that simply I'm listening and I'm listening and I'm listening and I'm learning would suffice my purpose. No, I would apply to what I have learned. Application is deadly required to be a very, very good speaker. Engage in the activities that involve communication in English are definitely the activities which involve the communication in English. For example, presentations should be there. Group discussions and public speaking are foremost required for anyone on this earth to be a very fine speaker no matter whatever language we talk to, right? Now, next is believe in yourself definitely be, have confidence believe in your identity that whatever you are speaking is all correct but this does not sound that you come up with the wrong information or come up with the wrong usage of words so make sure be simple in your words don't come up with a complex vocabulary but do not use the words till and until you are confirmed uh, of those words so please use the vocabulary and the words you are really really comfortable at because whosoever is listening to you would be listening to you on the basis of your pronunciation your vocabulary your fluency and your grammar so all these four should be clear to you before you start using your language so to know more make sure that be with us on Vikramas we are definitely having the sessions on it and we keep on teaching the students the practice and the priorities and the tools to learn English and definitely tools of grammar as well because still and until you know the grammar you know the vocabulary you would not able to speak in English right and um, you should have trust on your abilities as well once you are well aware that whatever you're speaking and whatever you're using in your sentence is all correct trust your abilities right whenever you speak English whenever you speak English speak with confidence you should have confidence no matter what you speak right so use clear assertive tone Every time you speak to the people or public or in a group or even to your colleagues or your superiors, you should be assertive in the tone. You should never, never be negative in the tone. Make sure that whatever words or the kind of the speech you are using over there should be affirmative. It should barely be negative. Even if you have um, your opinions uh, contradicting to the speaker, make sure it should be presented in a manner that that it shows affirmation and complete positiveness from your side now and maintain a good posture to show self confidence you should have a very positive posture and your expression should be really really positive should be full of confidence should be uh, good enough to present yourself in a very positive manner right hope you have understood this let's be on to the next slide keep your language and gesture right yes make sure when we are talking in public or we're talking to the people around our gestures our body language equally matters our uh, words as well right so if we are uh, in a very wrong position our gestures are completely an opponent to what we are speaking definitely we are not a very good speaker in case if I'm coming up with a session which is full of comedy, say for example, if it's a sitcom and I'm coming with a, with a comic episode, a comic story from my side, I should have that kind of a gesture. My, my mouth would, would be always saying cheese word with my teeth glowing, showing that I'm equally happy and excited as my audience are. And on the contrary, if I'm coming up with a grave issue, my facial expressions should be exactly grave showing my concern to the issue I am connected to or I am speaking on and definitely my empathy towards the situation, right? Use appropriate hand movements. Definitely our hand movements should be appropriate in case if I am giving an interview. Make sure that uh, my hand movements and the way I would be sitting over there should be all the weight is required over there. I'll be sitting with my hand uh, folded or uh, I, uh, say for example if I'm giving my interview, right? So uh, the, the least expected way of sitting over there 
as an interview would be this way i would never sit this way because this shows my arrogance fine so i would be sitting straight with my back all straight there would be no hunch back on my back right my hands would be in front or folded either folded or one after the other on the table i would be all straight my neck all straight and my eye contact with the person who's taking my interview right so mm, is the case with every kind of a circumstance i have uh and uh, maintain an open posture show facial expressions that serve your message my facial expressions should be according to the message i am delivering if uh, i told you that if it is a comedy or it's something uh, a, a, a something i would say um, serious or if it is something uh, very light if it is something highly excited if it is something which is really um, uh, craving my uh, attention or a current issue going on so my facial expressions my body expressions and my gestures would be accordingly right now on to the next slide non verbal communication non verbal communication remember english communication involves more than just, just using words i've already told you gestures are equally equally important in english speaking so utilize appropriate non verbal cues like facial expressions here yes, see for example if i am a speaker or even i am a listener that time my facial expressions equally count to my words i should have a smile on my face if i am conveying a message or a affirmative statement or even if it's order i cannot be rude in my attitude i cannot show my aggressive attitude right if even i am commanding something i would definitely have a strong tone but i would really be coming enough in my attitude so make sure that my facial expressions are up to the situation gestures are up to the situation and the tone of the voice should be as humble as stern but should be protective enough to enhance your message definitely it gives exceedingly good meaning to the message right now next comes adaptability see before i start with the slide uh, adaptability uh, i would uh, uh, love to announce that english is the most adaptive language in itself no matter which place english goes to it does not hesitate at all in uh, in adapting to the to the place over there to the words over there and many local lives words are uh, very conveniently introduced in english if i talk about uh, greek words definitely we have ample of greek words latin words and even hindi words in english which are very suitably set in the dictionary as well so if english in itself is quite adaptive in the nature conducive to the place wherever it goes we can as a speakers be equally like that right so be flexible and adaptable in your english speaking style change your approach based on the requirement and preferences of your audience say for example if i have little tiny toddlers if i have small 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 children in front of me and there i find that they are my audience definitely i would be exactly the same in my tone in my words i would be more effective speaker to them so that i approach to the heart of the students and in case if i find that my elderly uh, audience are in front of uh, me i would show my compassion my empath empathy to them and little toddlers would expect me showing fun to them right so this is the difference which i would be using in my speech as well as in my gestures and in my attitude as well right so hope you are understanding what i want to convey the message over here next is continuous learning because learning is a huge spectrum no matter which age i reach i cannot say no to the learning and if i say no to the learning i cannot be a commanding speaker right and so strive for on ongoing improvement definitely i need to improve myself i need to work hard on my improvement by reading english books by attending workshops or by taking courses on effective english communications 
yes i need to work on me every now and then to be a very good speaker stay updated on the current communication trends and techniques to be the finest speaker in the world right and this ends up with the feedback slide yes be a person who is open to the feedback even criticism does not mean a negative impact on what we have stated or negative impact on our personality we should be the kind of a person who is really really good enough to to accept what others are saying and readily be available for the feedback and keep on taking your feedback from the people around send feedback from other people from your english vocabulary and communication definitely keep asking people how you communicate how you are in your speech and accept the constructive criticism definitely criticism should be constructive because if we work on the criticisms we have received from the people we are definitely going to be on the top of the sky one day work on the areas that need improvement and wherever we find that these are our shortcoming corners we we would be improving with the continuous practice uh, and definitely would win our game one day so this ends up with our tips on how to be a very good listener so thank you for being with me be prepared be with us on vikramas to learn to communicate well in english and to be the finest speaker bye bye take care